Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with John B. I'm your host, John B. I decided to get a little creative. I noticed that on YouTube, especially in the fishing category, the one thing that seems to be trending is either A, falling through the ice, B, 1,000 degree knives, or C, catch and cook videos. So in today's video, we're gonna cook up this gorgeous smallmouth bass, uh, which fell victim to my papar this morning. Absolutely destroyed my bait. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to get it on footage because like all my Africa videos, they got completely wiped off my external hard drive and are forever lost. Before I get into today's video, I have to uh, give a notable mention to our uh, wonderful sponsors who are viewing this video. This video is brought to you in part by Pocky. It is the original biscuit chocolate flavored, uh, it is the original chocolate, chocolate covered biscuit stick. Pocky is the original chocolate covered biscuit skit sticks. <laughs> so Pocky sponsoring this episode, if you guys wanna check out some of the products, I'll leave a link in the description below. But uh, I figured, hey, while we're cooking and while we're waiting for some of this food to prepare, we can have a little Pocky snack along with um, some uh, Ramoon drink, which is a Japanese soda, one of my favorites growing up as a kid. So we got three of these here, we're just gonna, taste test. Today's video is going to be like all over the place. We're just going to have fun today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. So before we get to cooking, it's always good to have the proper culinary tools. I always keep mine right under the stove so they're readily access accessible. Accessible. Nice, dude. We've got a big fish today, being that I only catch big fish. So we're going to use a giant pan, small pan. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You're just gonna need two pans for this recipe. All right, next we need uh, knives. So when you're cutting up fish, you wanna make sure you've got a big, sharp knife. We're gonna actually grab a few big, sharp knives just in case the first one doesn't work. I think three is enough, and then we're also gonna grab our sharpener. So right now we're, we're just sharpening the knife. We're just getting it prepped up for this fish. It's not fully clean, so we're just gonna have to do a little surgery on this on this uh, smally mouth bass. This will look cool slow down. Alrighty, so we got to do a little, uh, little, little slicing and dicing on our, on our smallmouth bass here. Um, but before you do that, you need to get a little cutting board. So got a nice artisan wood cutting board. It's always good to be authentic when you're, when you're cutting meals. It makes it seem like you're a professional, which in this case we are not. So if you guys can see, like right there, there's a little, uh, little head. Some people eat the head. I don't because that's disgusting. No offense to the people who eat the head. I just think it's kind of gross. I'm gonna chop the head off, I guess. I don't know. Is that how this goes? <laughs> don't know why I bought a whole fish. There we go. Now you can leave the bone on and you can risk choking and dying on one of these ribs. No, I'm just kidding. That's, I mean, I guess it could happen, but I don't think it's likely. But if you don't, if you don't like the bones, then you can cut around this little white portion right here. So you can see that those are the ribs and uh, the best way to get around that is to literally just cut around it. Cutting through the bone! There's the meat of the actual fish. Uh, if I was more of a professional, I probably could have gotten more, but that's not bad. Mm. Sorry, just taking a quick um, pocket break. So, this is where the cooking part of this video comes into play. Damn it! Always charge your batteries before you see the video, guys. Before we heat these pans up, we wanna make sure we get them nice and oiled up with a little bit of uh, a little bit of pan, pan lubricants. This is empty. Okay, we're gonna use great value instead. Just gonna, just gonna get that um, pan all moistened up. Just gonna lubricate the pan. I think those are two bad words I just used. Um, grease up the pan. I think that's a better word than lubricate or moist. <laughs> we're just gonna make sure that nothing sticks onto our pan, especially fish. Fish likes to stick. So we're gonna heat this up. On the big pan, we're gonna put it on a low heat. And on a small pan, we're gonna put it on two. So while we're waiting for those to uh, heat up, we're gonna try uh, one of these nice little Ramoon uh, Japanese soda drinks. Uh, this one's yogurt flavored. It's kind of cool, you take this little plastic thing and you press it up against the little ball and it goes, and it goes, hold on. Ooh, and it pops. Hey, not half bad, that's pretty good. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I went to a Japanese market today and decided just to spend a lot of money on stuff I really don't need, like Japanese yogurt flavored sodas. Okay, we need the rest of our ingredients. Some eggs, a box of rice, uh, a little bit of a little bit of uh, kiki yoman, kiki, kiki yoman. We're gonna use a little kiki yoman teriyaki sauce, and then uh, for some of you guys out there who want a little more spice, we've got Korean barbecue sauce, which is not Japanese. 
Just a heads up in case you're confused. Okay, this is where the action starts. We're gonna take our two pieces of filleted fish, brah, brah, and we're gonna put them right on the big pan. That's all. Also, the scales aren't that big of a deal. They actually peel off the meat once we cook the cook the fish fillet itself. While we're waiting for that fish to heat up, which I'm now going to bump up to like medium heat, I'm gonna take um, some Trader Joe's boxed rice. This is boxed jasmine rice. This is great for all you lazy guys out there who don't really wanna wait for water to boil and to put ice in there. All you do, open that up, throw it in there, three minutes, start, instant jasmine rice. And it's actually really, really good jasmine rice. We got rice up top, fish on bottom. This is probably gonna take a while, I just realized. I can't have the camera filming the entire time because this is gonna take a long time. <laughs> hey, if you guys enjoy stuff like this and it gets less than a thousand dislikes, I'll keep making videos similar to the one that you're watching today. But if it gets over a thousand dislikes, I'm cutting it off and calling it quits. Uh, one great thing to always have in your arsenal of cooking tools is a gallon of soy sauce. You will never probably ever use the gallon of soy sauce, but you can place it by your cooking setup just to make it seem like you, like, you know, you go through a lot of um, soy sauce. Because if you get the little tiny thing of soy sauce or any sauce for that matter, it makes it seem like, you know, you're just putting it on the side of your plate when you're eating a meal. But with this, it's like, whoa, this dude's got a gallon of soy sauce. He must be like a culinary expert. He's a chef. Food connoisseur. Oh, look at that. So we're just gonna throw that off to the side. Uh, worry about it later. We just really want to focus on this fish. I probably should turn up the heat just a little bit. Gonna add a little unsalted butter to our concoction here. Concoction, nice voice crack, dude. So we're gonna add just a little bit of uh, butter there. Not too much, just a thin slice. Boop, there we go. You can add the whole stick if you want, but uh, I prefer uh, my arteries to be cholesterol free. Just to spice up that flavor bit, just to get the fish prepped up. Got some good looking fish there, folks. Okay, the best way to tell whether or not your fish is cooking properly is to see what color it is changing from. So when we put the fish on the pan, it was kind of like a pinkish color. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it was a little pinkish color. Now, it's starting to turn whitish. It's getting blander. There's the pink color, raw fish, and there's the white color. The white color means that your fish is properly cooking. So once our fish starts to kind of cook, we're going to take our sauce. I'm gonna grab a spoon here. Kind of drizzle it over there. Not too much to begin with. We can add more later, but be conservative. And then on our other fish, we're gonna add some teriyaki. Ooh. This is like really, really runny teriyaki. Is this soy sauce? Our fish is cooking up beautifully here. All right, from here, we're gonna get cranking on the supporting factor of this meal, which involves two eggs, one egg per filet. Egg is cooking. We're gonna cook it uh, sunny side up or you can cook it fried. Actually, I like fried better than sunny side up. Uh, while we're waiting, gonna crack open another box of Pocky. This flavor is Almond Crush, one of my personal favorites. Oh wow, look at that. We get two little separate pouches. You can give one to your ex-girlfriend and you can eat the other one by yourself because you have an ex-girlfriend. <laughs> uh, ooh, so good. Okay, okay our, our meal is getting kind of close to being done, so we're gonna grab some plates. Gonna heat up that rice yet again because we've Mm, kind of, I don't know. I'm just gonna heat the rice, rice up again. I don't know why we're doing it, we're just gonna do it. Turning point, turning point, turning point. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but our fish is starting to kind of flake off there. That is really, really good. That basically means our fish is just moments away from being ready to serve. Now you can't just throw the food on the plate. It's gotta go in a specific, well thought out order. See, the thing is if you want to impress your college roommates or Bill from down the block, it's very important to make sure that your meal not only tastes good, but also looks good as well. So now we gotta piece together the meal. We're gonna take the fish, fish, and then uh, put it on the plate first. Scoop the fish up. It's gonna fall apart a little bit. I take back everything I said about this looking good. There we go. Oh, nice, there, nice. Okay, there we go, I got the fish there. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of rice on there. A little, little, little bit of rice on top of the fish. I'm gonna dress it in some teriyaki sauce. And then on top, we're gonna put our fried egg. Here it is, here's our rice and fried egg fish meal with a complimentary side of Pocky. Food's complete, now we have to serve it to some uh, very, very lucky people. Jesus. We got here. Oh, look. What's this all about? This is for you guys. Oh. 
So uh, eat with my fingers, or what's the no, best? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get some. I'm getting some forks right now. All right, hand handmade in my kitchen. Here's some uh, some ramune too. There's a uh, oh, there you go. Take the forks, and then you guys can just try it. You guys can try it. Yeah, let's go. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Fish. Wow. Rice. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little egg. Yeah. Like, oh. It's interesting. What do you I got, think? I got a bone. What do you think? I got a bone. It's, um, it's different. Yeah. It's fish and rice and then a little bit. Yeah. I think I swallowed a bone. You guys don't like it. Maybe you put the egg. See, I can't. Maybe I can't, you put the egg with the fish. Egg off. Oh, here we go. Hey, try the pocky. And I. <laughs> This is good. Bye. This is really good. Bye. 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 It's just different. You it's know, it's just, just... You don't you don't like it. Do you remember when you used to bring those pictures home from school? And I'd say, hey, tell me about it. Because I didn't know what it was. You didn't like those pictures? A little bit runny like that. And you let it just kind of float over the rice. <laughs> it's a delicacy sweet. So we're proud of you. I think you did a good job, so Jonathan. Proud Great of you. job. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today's video, guys. This video was purely for entertainment, it was just for fun. I personally actually really enjoy cooking, believe it or not, and it's one of those things that uh, is like one of my low-key hobbies. I actually like cooking, even though I may suck at it most of the time. If you were expecting some fishing content, if you want to see more fishing content, don't worry. I'm going to be leaving for quite an extensive fishing road trip here in a few days to the Shenandoah region in Virginia, kind of West Virginia area. I guess it's mainly Virginia. But anyway, I'm gonna be going down there and doing a little fishing on my way to that destination. So if you guys know of any great places to fish in the Virginia area, let me know in the comment section below or in a um, email. You can email me right here. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. Have fun this winter, catch lots of fish, and be safe. As always, keep fishing. Never stop. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> good meal. It's good. Mm. Thanks, guys. Turned out okay? I feel like you're being serious, though. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted to It's a little hard to watch that.